Hello guys, we are here in the city of Bandung in West Java, Indonesia. In this video, we're going to be taking you guys to some amazing natural places in and around the Regency here. Now Bandung is one of the biggest and most populated cities in all of Indonesia. But what makes Bandung really cool is how it's located in this geographic basin, surrounded by mountains and nature on all sides. We're going to be checking out some craters, some tea plantations, hot springs, and maybe even trying out some of the local cuisine. So let's get out of the city and let's go get lost. This almost looks like Switzerland. I've been there. It's not too, too hot. Panas banget. Rebus. This is so relaxing. We're going to do some susu tau. Susu jahe. I want to watch us shoot stuff. <laughs> Bullseye, baby. No, I'm beside. It's going down. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, guys. We are about an hour and a half north of Bandung, north of the city and we're exploring the area around Lembang. And we're here at our first stop, Airpanas Chiater. And this place is kind of like an adventure park, and they've got archery here. So we're gonna shoot some arrows. The Robin Hood baggage. Chain is loaded up, Ooh, we're going for it. Ooh, right below, not bad, not bad. Robin Hood just went to work, now it's time for Pocahontas. Bullseye, baby. We're also drawing quite the crowd here at the amusement park. <laughs> Everywhere we go, everyone stop what they're doing. They don't care. They want to watch us shoot stuff. We got a bunch of springs. Which one do you want? Oh god. Over there. <laughs> oh god. We got some over here. We got some all the way back here. Banya Kairpanas. Shirts off. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking down. Coming to where little mini Ayitarjun. It is very slippery. Lichin. Try another fall. It's really hot. It's really hot. Yeah. I'm steaming right now. My feet are hot. Woo! We're going all the way. Woo! Banas banget! It's so hot! It's so hot! How was right. it? Yeah, we're so good. Now we're gonna hit all the pools. Let's we're go. We're gonna go into every single pool here. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. we're gonna hit more. Of course. I don't know. It's, yeah. We're gonna go get Tahu Susu, right? Tahu Susu. We're, 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 we're gonna get Tahu Susu. Maybe Tahu Susu. Tahu Susu. Susu. Tahu. Wait, wait, wait. Tahu Susu. Tahu Susu. Susu Tahu. All right. We're here. We got some food. We're trying some famous Tahu Susu Lembang. Silky smooth. It's silky smooth. Yeah. Oh wow. Break it. Mine without the sambal first. Without sambal? Just falling apart. Oh, it's good. Yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. It's really, it's not It's not as starchy as like normal tofu. It is a little bit, but it's like, I don't know. I got a good sambal. I need sambal. Of course. It's good and stuff. sambal dadak, yeah? So good. That is delicious. All right, I'm in this now. I'm going to go to work. Oh, wait. Kriuk, yeah? Crispy? Crispy, bro. This is my jam. This is my jam. Pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with fried to tofu, huh? This is honestly, I enjoy eating this almost as much as this. Yeah. Pretty good. Good stuff. All right. So our understanding of what this is is they curdle the milk somehow and then pull out the moisture and somehow make some tofu out of this. We're not sure it's from soy. We don't really know. So if you have a better explanation, please tell us down below. Comment us. We we want to know exactly what this is. Look at the jiggle. The sambal first. Super fresh. It doesn't have that sour taste to it. Mm. Is the sambal too spicy for me? It's not that spicy. Is I it? swear, I swear, <laughs> I swear to God. Alright. Just do a tiki tiki, tiki tiki. It's a good amount. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. That sambal is very flavorful. Now Ooh. this, I have no idea whether I'm going to like or not. I have no idea about this. Alright, all right. Oh, it's really good. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, God. That's actually really, and it's really warm. We're going in on the susu tahu. Oh, it's nice. It's like when you drink warm milk. In, in America, sometimes you drink warm milk at night. You know, it helps you go to sleep. It's kind of like a similar, similar type thing. So I'm, it's, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. All right, we're gonna enjoy the rest of this. But it's been a wild time here in Lembang. It's been an interesting time. But we're gonna finish eating. We're gonna drive back to Bandung, to the Kota, to the city, and then we're gonna wake up and do some exciting stuff for tomorrow. So stay tuned.
Hello guys, good afternoon. Salamat siang. We are currently about 50 kilometers south of the city of Bandung and we're here to visit Kawaputi. We're walking down this path that leads to the crater now. We're down here in the crater now. Shane's behind me. It's pretty foggy right now. There's a bunch of people taking pictures. Shane might go take a dip or a swim in there. You hopping in or what? Dude? Taking a swim. He's taking a swim, better not. Do it. Yeah. Sure. Touch it. We're actually pretty high up in elevation. We're above 2,400 meters, so it is a little bit cold. And the lake here is really acidic. It's one of the most acidic lakes in Indonesia, and the pH ranges from 0.5 to 1.3. And due to that extremely high acidity and all the minerals within the lake, it turned all the land and all the rocks to this white color, which is actually where it got its name, Kawaputi, the white crater. Now the lake is so acidic because of the natural source of sulfur here and the creation of sulfuric acid. And the lake can change colors depending on the concentration of sulfur at the time. And I'm sure you've seen pictures of this place when it's completely clear. You can see all of the lake and all of the crater wall all the way around. Right now it's super foggy. It actually gives it this really, really cool kind of spooky, eerie look. It feels like we're on a completely different planet. Rain's coming down. We used to get really lucky with, with rainy season. So far, we haven't had the best luck out here in Bandung. So it's starting to pick up. Gonna take a little bit of shelter. We're on the move, baby. It's going down. <laughs> oh, shit. Terima kasih, Kong. Woo! We are on the pier, taking refuge. All right, we got a little gap, a little window in the clouds, a break from the rain. So we're gonna try to get out of here, keep on moving, check out the next spot. All right, guys, we have driven a little bit further down the road, not too far from Kawaputi, and now we are here at the beautiful tea plantations at Rancha Bali, walking around and exploring this beautiful area. And you can see behind me, it's just rolling hills and mountains, the farmland here that's terraced, it's gorgeous. So we're gonna walk around, explore a bit, get some good drone shots for you guys. So, why are they growing tea here? Well, tea grows best on sloping hills and carefully constructed terraces because those terraces trap water and prevent erosion. And there's actually quite a long process for growing and harvesting tea. The tea bushes are grown from the cutting to the seeds and they take around four years to properly mature. When they are six to 18 months old, they are planted in a plantation. And once they grow a little bit bigger, then they are replanted in their permanent spot. Now, once the tea is ready for harvest, it's actually hand picked and good pickers will pick around 72 kilograms of tea leaves per day, which would then result in around 18 kilograms of finished tea. And the highest quality tea actually comes near the top of the plant in a part called the flush. It consists of two leaves and a bud, just like you see here. Coming in this tent right by the tea plantation, gonna get some jagung bakar, yeah, some grilled corn. Finished up my jagung bakar. Now it looks like Rob has got himself quite the bakso. This is, this is, I got me, bakso, pakai telur, uh, sayur, Fat stack here, it's loaded up. This is like. Ara chabe juga. And chabe rabi. Yeah, yeah. Chabe this diatas. is like one of the best mi rebus combination champur I've ever had, man. Out in the tea plantation. Let's go. Amazing stuff. And. Salaba makan. We got the susu jahe as well. Jahe. Can't forget wait, wait. the susu jahe. Wait, wait, wait. We got the susu, susu jahe. jahe. Finished up. Gonna get back on the bikes. I think we're gonna go hit some hot springs. Hot springs, Rob? I'm ready for some ayer pranas. Ooh, ready for a little soak. All right, let's hit it. Nuhun pisan ya bu! Nuhun pisan! Okay guys, we are at our next spot. Chibuni Ulinganis Crater. And guys, this is a lot more our style. It's not as touristy of all the other places we've been to. And we're walking down this path here. And you can see a little bit when the smoke clears, but we're kind of in this valley here. So we're pinched in almost like a V on both sides. So we got the wall over there and then kind of a wall over here. And then just inside here is in the craters, all these different parts are smoking up. 
of different pools and water sources and it's got a real kind of rustic country type feel you know there's not much infrastructure here which is nice all right we found where the hot water's flowing you see behind me got this little waterfall stream get in there boy some uh, 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 yeah. This is nice. And not, it's like good, it's not too, too hot. It's like, it's like I'm taking a shower. Oh, gonna chill God. here, oh, soak God. our feet, enjoy the hot spring, man. Woo. We're coming over to this pool now over here. And it's funny because this pool is actually shaped in a heart. And today is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to you all. Woo. Oh baby, that feels nice. <gasps> this is so relaxing. Just a reminder, if you don't already follow us on Instagram and TikTok, go follow us there at thelostboys.travel. The link is in the description below, and that's going to close out our video. We hope you enjoyed our time here around the area of Bandung, visiting the natural spots. If you enjoyed the video, please hit us with a thumbs up, and also subscribe because we're continuing our road trip across Java here in Indonesia. So we'll see you in the next one.